This tutorial will show you how to set up a direct redirect campaign. To begin, from your dashboard, click on Campaigns, then click on Add New Campaign. First, you will need to select your campaign type. There are three types of campaigns you can run. Direct redirect, newsletter, and native ad. To learn more about setting up newsletter and native ad campaigns, please see those tutorials. Next, enter or copy and paste your ad campaign URL. Click on the eye to preview the URL you have entered. Next, we will move to basic information. Enter the name of your campaign. This name and convention can be anything you choose. Now we will enter your max bid per 1,000 visits. To begin sending traffic, the minimum bid for the USA is $4 per 1,000 visits. Minimum bids may vary for all countries depending on what traffic type you choose. We will now move to targeting. First, select your traffic type, standard or high volume RON. High volume RON is our lower tier feed, consisting of a mixed bag of traffic and quality at a very low rate. For this tutorial, we will be using the standard traffic type. Our top tier feed of filtered quality traffic from our trusted users and partners. Now let's select whether to target by category or source. To target by category, select your categories and click Add. To target by source, switch to Source, enter or select the source number, and then click Add. Please note you cannot target by category and source. You must select one or the other. For more information on category and source targeting, please see those tutorials. Now let's choose your audience. Select non-adult, adult, or both non-adult and adult audiences. Adult traffic is categorized as coming from adult content where a user must be over the age of 18. If you would like unique traffic, click on the Yes, Uniques Only button. Unique traffic refers to a person who is seeing or viewing an advertisement for the first time. Now let's target your geographic area. To search, click here. By default, our top geographic areas will populate. Additionally, each time you enter a letter or abbreviation, your search results will update. Click on your desired geographic area to add. You can also search by clicking on the magnifying glass. In the search field, enter your desired area and hit update list. You can also filter your results several different ways. Using a country's abbreviation will also help you find the location you are targeting. To select your locations, click on the box. These locations will populate below. Once you have selected all of your locations, click on Use Selected. It's important to note that selecting specific targets will change the amount of traffic you may receive. This information can be seen under source-specific targeting. For more information about source-specific targeting, please see those tutorials. To target all geographic locations, leave this field blank. Next, you will need to select the browsers you would like to target. To search, click here. By default, our top browsers will populate. Additionally, each time you enter a letter or abbreviation, your search results will update. Click on your desired browser to add. You can also search by clicking on the magnifying glass. To search for individual browsers, enter the name in the search field and click Update List. To select browsers, click on the box. Each selected browser will then populate below. Once all browsers are selected, click on Use Selected Browsers. Again, to target all browsers, leave this field blank. If you selected any mobile browsers, you will now see this field and can select what mobile carriers you would like to target. To search, click on the magnifying glass. To search for individual carriers, enter the name in the search field and click Update List. To select carriers, click on the box. Each selection will then populate in the below list. Once all carriers are selected, click on Use Selected Carriers. If you do not target any mobile browsers or target all browsers, you will not see the Carrier tab. Please note that carriers are for mobile devices only. Now let's schedule your campaign. By default, timing is set to every day, hours is set to all hours, and launch status is set to active. If you want to set a date range and time, click on the timing box, select date range, enter your start and end date, select the hours you want your campaign to run, either all hours or selected hours. Click the box next to each hour to select it. Please note, all hours are for Eastern time zones. To select specific days of the week, change your timing and click on your selected days. You can also edit the time for those days, either by all hours or selected hours. Again, all hours are for Eastern time zones. Now select Launch State, Active or Paused. You can pause or make a saved campaign active at any time. If the launch date of your campaign is set to active, once you save and it is approved, it will automatically start to run and deplete funds from your account. Now let's move to frequency capping. 
Frequency Capping is here to help you control your budget, visits, unique visits, or conversions. You can select your cap type based on no cap or budget with a frequency of once, hourly, or daily, then enter your budget cap limit. You can also select your cap type by number of visits, unique visits, and conversions. Again, once, hourly, or daily. Then enter your cap limit in the cap box. Now you're ready to save the changes for your new campaign. Scroll to the bottom and click on Save Changes. Now you can enable optional conversion tracking. To enable or disable, scroll to the bottom and click on the Enable drop box. Then select what kind of tracking you would like. For more information about conversion tracking, please see that tutorial. Scroll to the bottom to save. To return to your Campaigns page, click on Campaigns and you will see your new campaign populated on your list. To pause or activate a campaign or campaigns, check mark the campaign and then select to run or pause selected. You can also pause or run by clicking on the play and or pause buttons. To edit any information in your campaign, click on the campaign and then any pencil to return to the edit screen. Please note, all campaigns will be idle until they are reviewed. Once reviewed, they will either be active or paused, depending on what you chose during campaign setup. If you have any additional questions, please view our other available tutorials or contact us today. And thanks again for using Redirect.com.